in the name of Allah, the most beneficent and the most merciful. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. How are you, my kids? Hope you all are good, doing well. I welcome you all in our English class. I am your subject teacher. And all of you have your book. This book, Active English Book 3. Today we are going to read chapter 21. Page number 70. Let's start reading. Look at the pictures. Read number one, two, there are the four pictures. <clears throat> Let's read. Maruf is shouting. A crab is biting his toe. Why is Maruf Shouting. Can anyone tell me why is Maruf shouting? Let's read again. Maruf is shouting. Are you reading? Just one minute. I have a little problem. Okay, then, <clears throat> yes, Maruf is shouting, a crab is biting his toe. Why is Maruf shouting? He is shouting because a crab is biting his toe. Understand, someone is telling that the Maruf is shouting. Then why is he shouting? So. To give the reason, we use the word because. He is shouting because a crab is, what is the reason of his shouting? A crab is biting his toe because a crab is biting. Understand? He is shouting and the reason is biting of his toe. The boys are laughing. The monkey is wearing Mr. Shah's hat. One sentence, the boys are laughing. Why are the boys laughing? What is the reason? The monkey is wearing Mr. Shah's hat. As you can see in this picture, the laughing Mr. Shah, and here is the monkey wearing Mr. Shah's hat. <clears throat> Look how they join two sentences together by using the conjunction because between two sentences. Sentence number one, Sentence number two, and because is the conjunction word. They are laughing because the monkey is wearing Mr. Shah's hat. Understand? To give the reason of something happening, we use the conjunction because. The teacher has given Zohra 10 marks. All the sums are correct. Why has the teacher given Zohra 10 marks? She has given Zohra 10 marks because all the sums are correct. The kite is flying, the wind is lifting it up. Two sentences with full stop at the end. Then the question, why does a kite fly? It flies because the wind lifts it up. <clears throat> Okay, understand the use of because. Join two sentences. One is the something what is happening, something happened. Then other sentence is the reason. So we join both sentences by adding because between them, removing the full stop of the first sentence. We write because and then the another sentence. Now we have uh, exercise number two, join the sentences, use because, look, you have to do it in your notebooks. Example, Omar is hungry, full stop. He did not have any breakfast. So you have to join these two sentences by adding, by using because. Omar is hungry because he did not have any breakfast. Nothing is changed in both the sentences, just we added because between these two sentences after removing this full stop and changing this capital H into small h. Okay. 
Uzma wants a drink. She is very thirsty. Uzma wants a drink because she, as a small, is very thirsty. A, B, C, D, E, these five sentences, you have to do it in your notebook by using because between these two sentences. Look here. I just did it here for you, for your explanation, but you will do it in your notebooks by your own. See the questions from the book and do it in your notebooks. The car cannot climb the hill. It is very steep. The car cannot climb the hill because it is very steep. Look, remove the full stop after hill. No full stop here. We added because between then it, I should be small. Every time when you are joining two sentences, always remember the first letter of the second sentence should be small. Uzma likes the picture, it is pretty. Uzma likes the picture because it is pretty. Dick has na not done any work, he is lazy. Dick has not done any work because he is lazy. Look after because H came small. The sea is smooth, there is no wind. The sea is smooth because <clears throat> there is no wind. T, small. First stop, removed. Added, because. Then T, small. Okay, children. Very easy exercise for you. Do it in your notebooks. Now move to the next page, page number 71. Exercise three, just for your practice and as well as the four. No need to write in your notebooks. Make as, as many questions as you can. Just by uh, orally, you can do this. Why am I laughing? Why is she laughing? Why are they laughing? Just remember where you use is. We use am with I, is with he and she, are with we, you, they. When you are making question, always remember the pr pronouns we, you, they. When you are making a question by using these pronoun, then you use are because these pronoun means plural. We, you, they. But he is singular, she is single, is. And M for I, it's an exceptional case. We use M for I. Why M? We will not say why is I. Why am I laughing? Why is he laughing? Why are they laughing? This is wrong if you say why is they laughing? And was for the past tense, why was I? But with I, he and she in these three cases we use for the past tense, the time which has been passed, we use the word was. Why was I? Why was he? Or why was she laughing? And for the plurals, we, you, they, the word were will be used for the past tense. Why were we? Why were you? Why were they laughing? <clears throat> Understand? It's a continuous tense in which something is happening and you want to know the reason. And when we talk about the simple present tense, the routine work, the habits, then how you can make the question, why do I do it? Why does he do it? Why do they do it? It's a simple present interrogative sentences that how you use the words. Why did, this is the past tense, simple past. Why did I do it? Why did she do it? Understand children? It's a question sentences, how to make question in simple present and simple past tense. But for continuous tense, the things which are happening, then we use the M is R and here do, does, and in the past tense did. This exercise is also not included in your scheme of studies. It's just for making question, it's a practice. Just uh, read it by your own at the home and then have a practice.
Then we have read aloud and spell. Cheer, cheerful, cheerfully. Hair, ear, hair. Near, year, dear. Read it carefully and try to learn these spellings. On page number 72, we have a very interesting story, story, sorry, it's a story, Cinderella 1. Let's read Cinderella 1. This is another old story. It is not true, but people tell it to children all over the world. And especially girls like this story of Cinderella a lot. Let's read it from here. By the pictures, you can see how beautiful Cinderella was. Okay, Cinderella's father and mother were both dead. She lived with her aunt. Her aunt had two daughters. She is the aunt of Cinderella and they are the two daughters. <clears throat> they were both fat and ugly. The aunt and her daughters hated Cinderella because she was beautiful. They were jealous of Cinderella. That's why they hated Cinderella. She was so beautiful. They made her do all the work in the house. She worked very hard, but they always scolded her for not working hard enough. You must work harder, they said angrily. You are a lazy girl. Because they are not good, these fat and ugly sisters and the aunt of Cinderella. So always they say bad words and bad things to Cinderella and Cinderella was very poor, what we can say, the very beautiful and humble lady. She cannot do anything. Poor Cinderella stayed in the kitchen all day, cooking, washing the dishes and looking after the fire. The ugly sisters sat lazily in comfortable chairs all day trying to make themselves look less ugly. They wore fine clothes, but Cinderella had only one dirty dress. She wore it all the time. She was very unhappy. She often dreamed of happy days with her mother. One day, a message came from the king. Look, he brought the message from the king and gave it to Cinderella. His son, the prince, was old enough to marry. The king was looking for the most beautiful girl in the land for the prince to marry. She would become a princess. The king asked all the ladies in the land to come to a great dance. On the night of the dance, the prince would choose his wife. The two ugly sisters wanted to go. They wanted to marry the prince these two ugly sisters. This is the first part of the story. So we have just read it. <clears throat> Today we will do the question answers. Then inshallah in the next lecture, we will continue Cinderella 2. And then you will know the story about Cinderella. You have already knew it. Let's see the question answers. Okay. Do you like this? Look, Cinderella, ugly sisters. They had a cat also. Then her aunt always scolded her. And then came the message from the king because he wanted to marry the prince and he wanted to see all the girls in the land. Okay, let's do the exercise first. The question answers. Why did Cinderella live with her aunt? She lived with her aunt because her parents were dead. Look again the question why did so when you are asking about something why then it means you must give the reason so this is the reason because her parents were dead. Why did ugly sisters hate Cinderella? They hated Cinderella because she was very beautiful and they were very jealous of her. 
Why did they make Cinderella do all the work? They made her do all the work because they hated her. Why did Cinderella wear her dress all the time? She wore it all the time because she had no other dress. Why did the king want the prince to marry? He wanted because the prince is old enough to marry. These five questions are only included in your scheme. So you write these in your notebooks and also start learning. Learn the question answers and also with the spellings if there are some difficult spellings. So you must learn these spellings. <clears throat> okay, now then we are going to do our workbook. In our workbook, the same unit means chapter 21. Make good sentences by joining each sentence under A to a sentence under B, A and B by using because. First of all, we will match these. Then we have to write here. Omar asked for a rupee because he wanted to buy something. He took a look like this. Omar asked for a rupee for sentence, then remove the full stop, put because between them. He wanted to buy something. He took an umbrella because it was raining. Uzma went home because she did not feel well. They were late for school because the buses were full. Mrs. Shah washed the windows because they were dirty. He bought a book because he wanted something to read. She could not write because she had no pen or pencil. There was no sugar because Mrs. Shah forgot to buy some. The aeroplane frightened them because it flew very low over the school. He lost two rupees because he had a hole in his pocket. So now I did it for you. How you join which sentence goes with which one and then but when you are writing here be careful you must write after finishing first sentence then remove the full stop you should not write here full stop write because and then the next sentence which is already matched with the a group <clears throat> okay children it's your homework to do it now we have next page change these sentences into questions using why. She is very happy. Why is she very happy? When you are putting why at the start of the questions, the helping verb is come first and the verb uh, noun goes after this is. We take is first, then she. She is very happy. Why is she very happy? They are laughing loudly. Why? Then are, then they. Why are they laughing loudly? Question mark. She is standing on her chair. Why is she standing on her chair? They are wearing thick coats. Why? First of all, you have to write here. Why? Then are, then they. Why are they wearing thick coat? <clears throat> coats? Put as here also. He was running after the car. Why was he running after the car? She goes to school by tram every day. Now here the questions going to be changed in making question what you do. Look, it's ing means continuous. That's why we are using is r is r understand and ing but when it's simple present or simple past there is no ing just the base verb she goes it means when it's with the s then you must write here does she goes to school by tram then for making question you write why does she go to school when you change it into does then it comes go like this, you will write it go, not goes again. Why does she goes is wrong. Why does she go to school? <clears throat> he put all the books in the cupboard. 
why did now here put is the second form means past tense so that's why we write here did if it's puts with s then we write here does but here is only put means this is the past tense so we write here why did he put all the books in the cupboard all the girls sit in the front of the class when girls plural no s here then we use do why do all the girls sit in the front of the class the cat likes look again here s it means we use here does to sleep under the table why does the cat like now here when the does in the sentence no s with the verb like to sleep the boys stood up here look here already written stand this is stood is the past tense so when you write did why did the boys then we change it into present why did the boys stand up the girls sat down again sat is the second form of sit so we write here why did the girls sit down the leaves fall from the trees in winter leaves fall it's the present tense first so we write here because of leaves it's plural so we write why do why do the leaves fall from the trees in winter you have to complete this page is little bit difficult but if you understood carefully then inshallah there will be no problem try to read it again listen again then write in your workbook then inshallah you will understand easily okay children that's all or want to study more okay i think that's all for today inshallah we'll see you in the next lecture with new chapter take care of yourself